Hello, this is Chad Chancellor. Welcome to this week's Next Move Group We Are Jobs podcast. We are celebrating our ninth anniversary, and I just want to thank all of you out there listening to this, watching this on our YouTube channel, for believing in our mission way back when. Our mission's always been to help small to mid-sized companies and communities grow together, and so many of you believed in us along the way. So what we're going to do to celebrate starting year 10 year 10 is we are going to actually reinvigorate our podcast channel and YouTube channel by putting out free educational content ever Thursday. We used to do videos and shows every single Thursday free for the entire public. And then as our business has grown, we've gotten busy. So sometimes it's hard to do that, but we're going to redo that now since we're starting out into year 10. So every single Thursday, we're going to put out for you educational content that's free on both the podcast channel and the YouTube. YouTube channel. We've got about 120 videos we've done for our movement members. They get to access all our videos. So what we're going to do is play parts of those videos for you that's educational. You'll get absolutely free educational content. You won't get to hear all of it because that's for our members only and they pay for that. But you will get bits and pieces where you can learn along the way and, you know, both improve your community, your organization, and even have career tips in there for you. So with that being said, let's get our podcast and YouTube going. Due to various demands on time and resources, economic development and trade and export agencies often struggle to complete effective market research and business outreach campaigns. For the past 10 plus years, Research FDI, along with our affiliated consulting groups at Research B2B and FDI 365, have leveraged our in-house knowledge, resources, and expertise in market research and consulting to help over 250 organizations directly facilitate inward investment attraction and new trade and export opportunities for their regions across a wide variety of industry sectors. Our highly personalized services and best cost to quality ratio in the industry ensures our client satisfaction, leading to repeat customers year after year. What are you waiting for? Leave the market research and business outreach to the expert team at Research FDI. To learn more about our services, contact us today. What's the number one thing you hear drives deals? Labor, labor, labor. Yet a lot of small to mid-sized communities can't afford $100,000 for a labor study. And, you know, you want to figure out how do I stand out against my competitor in the county next door, which is getting their same labor data from the state. And, and uh, today what we're going to tell you is really a very simple way to do it. With three simple meetings and eight steps, you can understand your labor force and understand how to market your labor force. You can have more than three meetings if you want to, as we explain this, you understand what meetings you have and maybe how you want to go about it but with only three meetings if you follow these steps you will understand how to market your labor force so when a prospect comes to you you can tell them definitively the good parts of your labor force what they're going to have to pay to get those people and you can sell that workforce and help you win that deal on our site selection side of the business, oftentimes we find communities just have a radius map showing we have this many workers within a 60 mile radius or this many within a 45 mile radius. And in reality, a true workforce region is rarely a radius. People rarely drive in a circle to your town to work. So if you're offering $15 an hour, rarely, rarely will people come to that town to work. So I'll show you kind of what I mean. Get $15 an hour. Let's say your town's right here at $15 an hour. So what most communities do is they show us a radius that says within 45 minutes, you know, we have this many people. So, so let's say this is a radius. Well, what that doesn't account for and what sophisticated prospects and consultants will figure out is if there are large towns on one side of this radius, more so than the other, unless you're totally distributed around yourself with large towns and, and big employers. So let's say that there's a large town right down here. And let's say that they have, let's say they have a, a, a big employer in town that employs 2,000 people and they pay $17 an hour. Well, in reality, in reality, you're not going to get these people here to drive to you. Common sense will tell you that. And sophisticated prospects figure that out pretty quickly. In reality, your labor shed, when it comes to these $17, it may be more like this. Because these folks here right between you, they're going to drive down here to this bigger city to make more money. By and large, not all of them will. 
but the majority of them will. So the first thing that, that, that you need to get as a concept in your head is you need to truly show prospects where your labor force comes from. Don't just put a radius up here. This is something that, that a lot of people make this mistake. And if you truly show a prospect that you really understand your labor force, maybe your labor force is coming more from up here than here. Maybe it's not a true circle. You know, who knows? Maybe it looks like this. Maybe you draw all the way over there. <clears throat> Whatever the case, it really doesn't matter. What matters is you understanding that and telling that to prospects so they be believe you and have credibility. So with the radius in mind and really trying to understand in your community what's your real labor force area, uh, you need to have three meetings. Three meetings are what we suggest you have to really understand that labor force. So the three meetings you need to have, number one, believe it or not, is with Walmart or one of your lowest paying people in town. If it's not Walmart, pick somebody in town, pays eight, nine, ten dollars an hour, meet with them. Then pick you somebody that pays a meeting.